Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create snow in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on the all new redesign flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode's cool because it's super simple and it's something you can do in just about any photo that was taken outside. Um, I would recommend having it be winter time <laughs> when, when you create a snow effect in your image. That's probably gonna be a lot more believable, but it's cool. We're gonna create a custom brush that you can use in, basically you create a custom brush once and then you can go back and use this brush in any of your images. So if you're outside, you're taking some pictures out you know, during winter, there's a little bit of snow on the ground, but there's no snow actually falling. We're gonna show you how to add that in Photoshop. All right, so here's our image for today. It's from photolia.com, a beautiful young lady sitting in the snow, but there's no snow falling from the sky and we wanna change that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a brush that's actually gonna make snow look like it's falling from the sky, which is gonna be really cool. So the first step in creating a custom brush is you always wanna create a new document. So I'm gonna hit Command or Control N. That's gonna create a new document. And for a brush, we really don't want this to be too huge. So we're gonna just create by 500, by 500, width of 500 pixels and height of 500 pixels. All right, let's hit okay. And there we go, really simple 500 by 500 pixels. So basically what we wanna do here is we wanna create a couple of snowflakes and most of the time when you're capturing snowflakes they pretty much just look round. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my marquee tool here, the elliptical marquee tool, and we're just gonna make a round shape right there. And on a new layer, I'm gonna hit shift delete and I'm gonna fill this with black. Hit okay, and we're good to go. Now I'm gonna make another one of these right over here and we're gonna make this a little bit smaller. We're gonna fill that with black too. So the reason why we're creating two dots instead of just one snowflake is because it's gonna add a little bit of variability and it also spaces these apart. So when I go to create my brush, all these little snowflakes that I'm gonna create, they're gonna be spaced farther apart and it's gonna look a lot more natural. So we've got our snowflakes here and I'm not gonna add any blurring or anything to that right now. We're gonna do that in the final image. This is a good start for snow, a large a circle here and a small circle here. So now that we have this, basically you want a white background and then whatever you wanna turn into your brush, you want that to be black. So we're gonna go to edit and then I'm gonna go down to define brush preset. There we go and let's just call this snow. Hit enter and you're good to go. Okay, let's switch back to our other document and now, here on this new layer, I'm gonna grab my brush tool and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go all the way down to this very bottom, my last preview here, and I'm gonna click on that and that's gonna be our snow brush. So if I just paint, I'm gonna paint with uh, white. It's a brush, you can paint with any color. I'm gonna paint with white and right now, this is what it looks like. It's just clicking and you know making like that. If I click and drag, that's what it looks like there. So it's still got a long way to go until it actually looks like snow. So let's go ahead and delete that. I'm gonna go into my brush settings and we're gonna start working on actually creating this brush. So to get to there, we're gonna go to window and down here to brush. And here we have all of our cool brush settings. I'm just gonna zoom in here so we have a, a nice little area. I always like to see a little preview of what I'm actually doing. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna click on here is our shape dynamics. I'm gonna click on the shape dynamics. We're gonna make sure that's checked and I'm gonna bring my size jitter all the way up here. Now the control, I don't need this to be pen pressure or anything like that. In this case, I'm just gonna make some of these are gonna be larger and some of these are gonna be smaller. And that's the whole idea. With this snow, you want it to be, you want it to look totally random and variable. You don't want it to look like you just grabbed the brush in Photoshop. So all the stuff that we're doing is just totally making it more and more random. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is our angle jitter. We're gonna turn that all the way up as well. So it's just gonna rotate it. So now when I paint like this, it's not gonna, you know, you're not gonna be able to identify where the large snowflake was and where the small snowflake was. Or in this case, it's just a circle. All right, and our roundness jitter, we're gonna turn up as well. And this is basically gonna make some of these less round and some of these more round. So you get those oval shapes. Now, I don't think snow, most of the time doesn't look that much like an oval. So we're gonna take our minimum roundness and we're gonna bring that up. There we go. And that's just, again, adding a little bit more variability into what we're doing. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is click on scattering. So we're turning that on. Make sure I turn both axes on. And then I wanna really crank that up. So when I paint around here, you can see it's just kinda going everywhere. Let's just zoom out a little bit so you can see on our entire document. 
All right, I'll just paint right over here, and it's just going to start going everywhere. So this is what we need. This is going to look a lot more like snow than, <laughs> than if it was just kind of like stuck in one place. OK, the next thing we're going to look at is our transfer. So I'm going to click Transfer On, and we're going to click on our Opacity Jitter, and I'm going to bring this all the way up. And what this is going to do is it's going to make some of these more visible. Let's just zoom in, and you can see some of these are going to be more visible, and then some of these are going to be less visible. So it's building in that randomness. You know what, some, that's a little bit too much like an oval. So I'm going to go back here to my shape dynamics, and we're going to bring our minimum roundness up just a bit more. OK, this is looking pretty good. Now I'm going to start painting around with this and see how it works. All right, that looks pretty good. If I make it smaller, how does this look here? All right, that looks pretty good too. Now if you want these little things to be spaced apart, just go to your brush tip shape and just go bring your spacing up a little bit, and that's going to wait a little bit more before placing another one of these snowdrops. All right, let's just clear that, and uh, we're going to go ahead and zoom in and see what we've got here. All right, so let's see. Basically, just clicking and dragging around, now we can see we've got what looks like little snowflakes that we just created totally from scratch. So you can see each time I click this brush, it creates that large point, and then it's hard to see, but it, it creates a smaller point as well. So I'll click it again, and I'll click it again. And I'm clicking in the exact same place, by the way, over and over again, but it's creating these all in a different place because it's scattering them around. And each of my brush is actually a lot larger than it appears because you don't really see the small, tiny bits of snowflake. You mostly just see the large ones. So that's why I created two to begin with, because it, it makes it look much more like a random bit of just snow or whatever you have. All right, let's go ahead and close that down. Oh, go to Window, and then back to Navigator. If you ever lose your Navigator, by the way, just uh, get it back, just like that. The next secret to creating snow is you want to do it in a bunch of different layers. Think about snow when it's actually falling. You're going to have like small, far away snow way behind you, and then your snow, as it gets closer to the camera, is going to get larger and larger and larger. So we actually going to do that using a couple different layers. So the first time, we're going to create a new layer, and I'm going to grab my brush tool, and now with that same snow brush, we're just going to make our brush nice and small. You can right click and control your hardness right here, sorry, your size of your brush. So we're going to bring it nice and small. There we go. And I'm just going to paint around. And you'll notice I'm not clicking a whole bunch of times. I'm just clicking and dragging because the spacing that we brought into the brush early on, that's what allows this brush to kind of like have all this really nice spacing built apart. And it, it just looks totally random. All right. This looks great. Now, we're going to be adding some blur to this, but I'm going to do that in just a little bit, OK? I like to do this, you know, like take care of every step that we need to. There we go. That looks good. So that's going to be like the snow that's far away from the camera. Now, the next thing we need to do, we'll create a new layer. And I'm going to make my brush, let's just right click here. I'm going to make my brush a bit larger. There we go. That looks pretty good. And now this is going to be snow that's a little bit closer to the camera. So you can see we're already building depth. And the snow that's far away from the camera, I didn't paint that down here on the bottom because this is obviously a little bit closer to the, to the camera. I wanted to make it look like that was a lot farther away. So I'm painting around. The nice thing here is you can just you can choose to not paint this in front of your subject as well. And it's you know, you can erase snow. Like you don't have to worry about a bit of snow on your subject's eyeball or something like that. So you can just erase it away. All right, let's make our brush a little bit larger. There we go. And now we're getting snow that's right close to the camera. Looking good. Let's zoom out just to see what, kind of what we're working with. All right, and we're going to make another layer. And now we're going to make our brush really large. And then this is stuff that's like super close to the camera. OK. And if you want to, let's say this is the layer of snow that's like really far away. We can create another one of those as well. Like it's, this is, doesn't take long at all. And I think it's kind of fun to paint snow in an image. All right. So this is a really good start. We've got a bunch of different layers now. And each of these is kind of looking you know, like we've got our snow starting off small. And it gets a little bit larger and larger and larger as it gets closer to the camera. So now what we need to do is kind of blur the snow, because it doesn't look real. It just looks like fake something that's done in Photoshop. Because when snow is falling, it's going to have a, like, a little bit of motion blur to it. right? So we need to build that into the image. So let's go ahead and make these top layers invisible. We're just going to click on this bottom layer here. And I'm going to go to Filter. We're going to go to Blur. And I'm going to go to Gaussian Blur. All right. And here I can just choose the blur that I want. Now, especially with these small guys, 
you know, they are pushed far in the background. If you go too far with this blur, they're going to disappear completely. So don't go too far with this. But you can go, you know, something right about there, that's going to look appropriate. Because they shouldn't be too in focus, especially if they're far away, because our background's not in focus. So this is going to depend on your image. If your background is in focus, you can put these in focus as well. All right, so there we go. You can see already it looks like real snow behind her. There we go. We've got another layer of this. And maybe this can get a little bit less of a blur. So we'll just bring this in. And there we go. OK, now the snow in front of her. We're going to, again, go to Gaussian Blur. That looks pretty good there. And this is totally up to you, however, however much blur you want to add to this. And I would totally recommend playing around. Like, do this a few times and kind of decide, you know, like, OK, you know, I, I like this version more than that version. It's OK to do multiple versions of this. OK, let's make this one visible. Now, this time, I'm going to do a slightly different blur. I'm going to go to Filter. We're going to go to Blur. And I'm going to go to Motion Blur on this one. Because I, I want them to keep their shape a little bit more, but I want them to look like they're kind of falling at an angle. So I'm going to choose my angle right here at about, let's just choose 60. So it's kind of a sideways angle. And then I can choose the kind of blur that I want. There we go. And you can see, especially like if you focus in on that guy right there, as I lower this blur amount, see, back to zero, this just becomes a circle. And as I bring it up, it's just going to look a little bit more and more blurred. And it's going to look like it's actually falling. That's what the motion blur is supposed to do. Now, it still has kind of like hard edges, so I'm going to add a Gaussian blur as well. So some of these that are really close to the camera do the motion blur and the Gaussian blur. That's going to help them make it look a lot more realistic. So now after I did the motion blur, we're going to go to blur and then to Gaussian blur. All right. And then we can give this a little bit less of a blur. It's just going to help it, again, look a little bit more realistic. All right. And then these ones really close to the camera, let's go to filter. Blur, this is going to get a motion blur again. We're going to keep the same angle, 60. Maybe bring our distance up a little bit. And then we're going to bring a Gaussian blur in there as well. All right, and that's really cool. Now, with these, the coolest thing about creating snow in Photoshop, in my opinion, is that you can delete anywhere that's like annoying and you can move the snow around. Like I can create, I can just grab my move tool and I can move the entire snow group around. and. At, really at all, like I can just completely change it. If I want to duplicate that snow group and make another one and put that over here, I can do that too. So if I want to add more snow now, it's super easy to do. Like if any of this gets in the way of our subject, like let's say, you know, I created snow and that thing was like right in front of her face. All you have to do is grab the eraser tool. So E for the eraser tool and just erase that away. And then she doesn't have snow there. So it's actually, I, I think it's actually nicer to do this in Photoshop rather than having to do it in camera because you get to control it after the fact. And that's all there is to it to create snow in Photoshop. We got a bunch of different layers. Let's go ahead and group those together. So I'm going to shift click on all of our layers. I'm going to hit Control or Command G to group those together. Double click and we're going to call this snow. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our before and our after. So here's our before and our after. Guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make snow in Photoshop. And if you like what we're doing here at Learn, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can receive news and updates and free Photoshop episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question about today's episode, please leave it in a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. Share Flurn with your friends and don't forget to just be a good person. I just threw that in there at the end. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll flirty later. Bye, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to create snow in Photoshop. How to create snow in Photoshop. Yeah. So now that we've, uh, blah, blah, blah. so that's it. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So for making snow, all right, guys. So you can see. All right, guys. Ah. So you can. Blah, 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 blah. <sighs> I can do this better. I'm a baller. I'm a baller. I'm a baller.